Hi guys, so we thought we would do a quick little video about our baby horse and we had a really hard time coming up with a name when she was born, didn't we? Yeah, so we asked my teacher in my class to put up a little thing for in the morning for all the kids to do to write down their, their names that they thought the baby should be because our teacher added a picture in so then they could just guess names and it could help us. So we had a little naming contest with Julia's online class and we're gonna tell you what her name is right after this. So the naming contest came back and there were a lot of really good names, say. Eh? Mm -hmm. Even then we had a bit of a hard time coming up with some names because the kids came up with awesome ideas. One we liked Poppy was one that we liked. Poppy, Cinnamon. Cinnamon and what was the other ones that we were now I forgot. Some of them <laughs> actually forget. picked the name. A lot of them Poppy. picked the names that we wanted to name her. That we were <laughs> Yeah. So we're like, oh, we're like, oh, oh this didn't name. help because they were some of the names that, that we really loved. But the one that we ended up going with, and why don't you, do you want to tell the reason Be first before we reveal the name? Like she, or the what? night she was born. Oh, she was, the night that she was born, there was a full moon. So we decided to name her Luna. Luna, after there was this crazy moon the night she was born. And she was born almost at midnight, so... Luna was a pretty popular name from mm -hmm. that contest and it was one of the names that we were thinking of so we decided Luna and yeah. she is definitely a Luna isn't yeah. she yeah we love that name sometimes so sometimes we also call her baby though so because <laughs> we were for a week we had no name for her <laughs> so we were literally just calling her so we were used baby. to calling her baby but no we call her Luna all the time now and sometimes we still call Kyla Luna <laughs> I mean, not we do not mix Kyla, up Kyla Luna. and Luna because we're used to the baby being Kyla. Yeah, <laughs> she's not a baby anymore. Is she? So let's go meet baby Luna. So week one with this little sweetheart, and for the most part, we've just been letting Stevie and her bond, and been trying to stay out of the way. <laughs> She's the sweetest though. And this, <laughs> this is my favorite thing she does. She, I love when she scratches like a dog. <laughs> and when she lays down. <laughs> She is honestly such a sweet little soul. She is not aggressive. She's not all crazy. She's just so gentle. dropping stuff on you. Now that her legs have strengthened up and she has got the all clear to go outside, she is figuring out how these legs work. <laughs> she loves running around and hopping is <laughs> her favorite thing to do. So week three and Luna is trying to copy <laughs> everything Stevie does. 
so she doesn't really know what to do with the hay, but she sees mom eating it, so she wants to put it in her mouth as well. She doesn't really figure out <laughs> the whole chewing and swallowing part, so once she gets a mouthful of hay, she goes and tries to drink milk, but Stevie doesn't appreciate the hay <laughs> in her mouth while she's trying to nurse. This little girl loves her snuggles. <laughs> she, she loves sleeping on Kate's lap and <laughs> she's just, oh, I can't get enough of her. I mean, when people talk about a uh, puppy dog personality, <laughs> I mean, she is the epitome of it. She, she acts like a dog. <laughs> she's she such a sweetheart. She comes right away, wants you to scratch her. She, <laughs> she loves her forehead being scratched and the side of her neck, like favorite spot. So week six and Luna is growing so quickly. Her legs are getting so long. And sometimes when she's standing beside Stevie, it doesn't look like her legs are that much shorter than hers. I don't remember Kyla growing this quickly, but it could just be that we're forgetting. Just anyone, I, I was always the one to find myself lost in long conversations, oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting, but then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken, cause you glue all the pieces back together, yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better, yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever, so free, oh my sweet baby. That is the tiniest thing ever. Gentle <laughs> baby, baby, my cold thing. <laughs> But with you it's so clear and now that you're here I see colors and never respect She still does like the little baby baby scratches but she's getting better with you than her neck because her neck's getting longer. <laughs> but the before she used to scratch sort of like how dogs do to scratch well their ears because they have too long of legs. So they sort of just use them because they have long legs so they do that, but as soon as they, but when they're getting older, they slowly start on doing. Although Kyla still does that kind of scratch. Yeah, she does. She, she doesn't do it that much anymore. She goes crazy over her neck. She loves her neck getting scratched. Actually, I don't know any voices that actually like getting their neck scratched. I only know her. Because when she was a baby, we were cutting her up when we were scratching her. Just to find her where the spot was. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you make them. 
making me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Her legs are so long that her neck <laughs> can't reach down to the ground to eat, so she has to spread her legs. Duke actually still has to eat like this because his legs <laughs> are too long, so he always needs to kind of spread his legs just to reach down. Week seven, and she is learning to lead. Because I can't just like wrap my arm all the way around her. She's too big now. Now I use her as my pillow. Mm -hmm. She's getting so big. I know. I mean, like, I remember Kyla being, like, so small. I mean, not this small. She's bigger than Kyla hey, at this that. age. For sure she is. Yeah, I know that. I'm saying like, I, like. I feel like Kyla was this size at like five months. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're all right though, right? Yeah. Week eight and leading like a pro. So we just had to bring them in from outside because it started to storm and it is thundering. So yeah. look how long her mane is. <laughs> it's almost the size it's of my It's growing. But if you guys are wondering why she has all like these little scratches, it's because when she's sleeping, she likes to walk up under the fence or scratch herself. So then she sort of loses her handsome spot. Well, she's, yeah, she's losing all she's her... She's also losing sort of her baby hair. Her baby hair. Bit. So she's getting all blotchy right now. Yeah. But it's coming in. You can see around her eyes. She's like, too busy eating. You guys can You can see around her eyes. The new stuff's coming in pretty much the same color. It's just that this stuff sort of... It's a little bit darker on the film right now, but... You can see where she like lost some of her hair on her neck over here. You can see that it's going in like sort of brownish, but we also think that it's sort of going to grow on like this sort of beigey sort of color <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, her neck is definitely... Oh, <laughs> this is genius. It flies, it's hitting my head. <laughs> oh yeah, With her tail. Can you mind your tail's short? It is short. <laughs> She's also learning stuff pretty good because now we're just teaching her how to pick up her feet like we should be doing. Yeah, every, and we push, every day we we don't pick them up and hold them for long, but just so she gets to touching. just pick them up for like five seconds. Oh, not even. Not even like just for so like she two gets seconds. Just to us touching her legs. We just pick them up so then she doesn't turn into one of those horses that hit their legs and picked up. They threw a big fit. Yeah. So we're just doing it now so then we can sort of just teach her to do it properly. And she is getting pretty good with her halter now. She's also getting some and fatness on leading. her. She's getting some fatness on her. <laughs> yeah, she's eating well. Stevie has been an awesome mom. Except for the grain pot. The grain pot, she's like, get she away. She likes her grain, so we got a full feeder that we're gonna put up. Yeah. And it just stops Stevie from being able to eat her grain. So 
so then she can eat it. Yeah. And Steven can, so what a wolfie do is basically, it's basically a feeder, but it's like a, it's sort of like what goes on the wall. Like if it was here, it would go on the wall and it would just stick out. But there's bars across, so the baby can only fit her head in. Or like her, yeah, her nose, her nose but, not, but not. So Stevie. then Stevie can't. And so only Luna gets Luna's baby. Yeah. But I thought she's been a really good mom. Yeah. Since this is her first baby ever, she's really good. She I is. Guess. If you want to see more videos of Luna and some of the other animals, make sure to hit subscribe, like, and the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Barn Boots and Country Roots. I know, like this. Can, well, she's still a baby, so she'll, so she still needs to get all of her color in. She looks better than Kyla was. She has like full hair. Yeah. Kyla has little patches of like skin. Oh no, that's just because we saw her when she was a month old and she was losing her baby hair. She was just shedding out. I know. She's really, well, she was born like, in the midnight. Briar's meeting the, the new baby during COVID. And, like, <laughs> you see Steve's tail?